is right around the corner. You're probably not thinking of planting vegetables. Well, but there are some veggies that actually thrive in these cooler temperatures. Lisa Briggs from the Bruce Company is here with some cool veggies. You got some good stuff here. I do. So either you wanted to plant veg this spring and you didn't, mm -hmm. or you planted it and you let it get all weedy and you didn't get any vegetables. But there are things that you can plant now. It's not too late. It is not too late. When you look at a at a seed packet, what you want to look for is usually down near the bottom that'll tell you days to maturity. Mm -hmm. This particular one is 60. And so you figure backwards from our first frost date, we're always really concerned about the last frost date mm -hmm. in the spring. The average here is around October 10th. So you can go back and count. So you got, you got Yeah, so this time of year, you can still put in like small root veg, like um, small carrots, or um, or radishes, or spring onions. You, there's always lots of time too to do things like peas and uh, from seed too. From seed, that's, that's hard to believe. But peas are fast, and they like cool weather. So you can certainly do lots of leafy greens. I know uh, kale's a particular favorite. Of you I, love I love kale. I love kale. Yes. Can't get <laughs> Can't get it off. The other thing that I love to do, and you don't want to plant this till after the frost, this is garlic. Mm -hmm. So the fun thing about garlic in the fall is that you can get all kinds of really good varieties. And what you do is you take it apart, clove by clove, and you plant them about six inches deep and about six inches apart. Cover it with some straw, and then you will harvest it next summer. And for every clove, you'll get a head. Really? Yes. I, this is the, one of the most satisfying crops. You don't have to do anything. Can you use garlic from the grocery store? You can. Really? You can. And you're going to get just whatever German white garlic mm -hmm. they have. But if you come to the garden center, there are all kinds of varieties. Some that are great for baking. Some that are really good to eat fresh. Some that, So you can have music garlic or some of the Polish garlics or the Russian garlics. Which somebody, are really tasty. Somebody gave me a garlic that they grew. It was this big. Yes. I didn't believe them. Yeah, I love to grow <laughs> garlic. It's one of my favorite things. But if you're doing these veggies, you gotta, you gotta get to work here pretty quick, right? Yes, you, if you want like onions or carrots or something like that, you wanna get them in this week, this weekend or sometime next weekend. Leafy greens, you have a little bit more time. As long as you get that stuff in by the first part of September, you're good to go. What, and what is, you could just grow it in a pot too. This is Swiss chard which is always really pretty. We saw this as an ornamental in the fall because it looks so nice with the stems in a pot, but it's edible. And there's time to plant Swiss chard, Swiss chard as well for eating. Hmm. Swiss chard, Swiss I've never chard. had that. Swiss chard, you wanna tried it, it It's it. a c close cousin to kale. <laughs> Another one of Mark's favorites. <laughs> try it. You just eat it like that or you cook it? You can eat it raw in a salad or you can cook it. Oh, it actually isn't bad. I mean, uh, it's it's like not lettuce. as kale as kale, is it? No, I mean, that looks like parsley or something <laughs> to decorate a plate. And, and what about the summer vegetables that are coming to an end here? What do you, yeah, what as you long as we have a lot of heat, you're going to still continue to get ripening on tomatoes and peppers. So let that stuff, we've got plenty of time. Let that stuff go. If you've got potatoes, it's probably close to time to get the potatoes mm -hmm. out of the ground. And um, yeah, beans are unless you've got pole beans that are dry varieties, those are probably done. It's been a pretty good summer for It has been, for yeah, so, so keep your uh, peppers and your tomatoes weeded because there's plenty of time mm -hmm. to get a lot of fruit left on those. All yet. that heat and humidity, perfect. I know they love that. It's tropical plants. Good. All right, well, I guess we'll go planting <laughs> of all things. Mark, here you go. Your, yeah, I'm going to take this. You, you can have the chart. Yeah, I'm going to plant some, some cloves. <laughs> Lisa, thank you. You're welcome. Good advice. We'll be right back with the final check of your forecast.